guys, I, uh, I just finished the boil up there and uh, before I go I thought I'd show you how to make this uh, simple lure that uh, I learned from Tyler. And all you need is uh, some uh, a tub of Vaseline and a bottle of this oil of wintergreen. You want to heat up too high. And all you do, oh, maybe a whole lot it, is put the Vaseline in the can. Probably, you know, having this in uh, room temperature make it a little easier, too. <laughs> Doesn't take very long. You see it's going in like in a liquid form? Keep stirring it and stirring it. Now, this is, uh, like I said, this is uh, oil of wintergreen. And you just take that and you stir that right into the Vaseline. Stir it around. Now right now it's still in liquid form. And uh, man, it sure smells nice too. <laughs> and then pour it right on back in the Vaseline jar. Well, I think Tyler mentioned something to that uh, uh, a full, full tub of Vaseline and a full bottle of wintergreen. Obviously you're going to have some left over. Well guys, it's starting to stiffen up there a little bit. Uh, I'm just going to leave it in the truck and boy, after the night that should be, uh, well, in a couple hours it'll probably be nice and stiff. So anyway, this is what I uh, learned from Tyler when I was out on the trap line with him and uh, this is what he uses. And since we made that video, you know, he's after getting four or five links off of that line and uh, I think six all together, you know. So, so it's simple to make and it's uh, effective, you know. So uh, I just thought I'd show that how to make it and uh, now I got some for myself. So. <laughs> So anyway guys, I'll just show you a few clips now from the boil up I had just a little while ago. So, hope you enjoy. Well guys, I got the fire going over right there, and when I was getting some uh, birch bark here to start the fire, uh, I seen up there, there's a big old chunk of chaga up there, and uh, the worst fall about is up too high to get at, and just above it you can see like a lot of woodpecker holes, and uh, that tree is leaning out, almost looks like a bit of a widow maker there. A bit of wind, I got a feeling it'll break off, but but I really like to get a piece of that chaga all the same, because uh, it's something I always wanted to try, it's supposed to be pretty healthy for you, you know, when it's done right, but uh, I'm going to mark this spot and maybe I'll come back sometime and try to get it because because uh, it's kind of hard to find, especially on this paper birch, I think. So so anyway, uh, there's a lovely find there all the same. Well guys, these are uh, moose steaks that I had marinating last night and uh, I just used a bit of uh, Worcester sauce, uh, soy sauce, uh, a little bit of meat tenderizer, a little garlic powder, seasoning, salt and stuff, and I'll just let them uh, sit like that overnight. And uh, I'm soon we'll get them on the fire here now. Also guys, I'm going to use some of this uh, Frontier Steak Spice, and this is what JC, uh, Boss of the Swamp, makes himself and sells. And I tried this before, and I tell you, it's... Uh, uh, maybe uh, similar to uh, Montreal Steak Spice, so if you really like Montreal Steak, steak Spice, you're going to love this one.
loaded with flavor. Unbelievable. I'll eat this one here now, and when that one cooks, I'll have my potato with it. 